And if I have a craving for something that's quote, unhealthy, I just eat it and I live my best life. Thank you to Clinique for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, it's Molly here again for another video and I am so excited. This video has not only been requested by a lot of you guys who watch me, it's been requested by a lot of like my friends IRL. People have been requesting this and so hopefully you guys really enjoy it. I'm excited to film it for you. Food is something I'm super passionate about. I think we all are. Food is something we consume on the daily, multiple times a day in fact, and it's a big part of life, especially right now. Now, when we've all been stuck at home for going on eight months now, food is like one of the only interesting things I feel like is going on around me every day. And so I wanna share with you what I've been eating every week or kind of a typical week in my life food-wise to stay healthy in quarantine. To me, health is mind, body, spirit. It's emotional, it's mental, it's physical. And so that's the way I approach what I put into my body. And so I'm not a professional, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, I didn't go to school for this. I'm just somebody who's really passionate about it and who notices a direct effect on my mental health when I am not eating well or eating food that fuels my body in the right way. I wanna share with you the things that I've been doing to stay healthy during quarantine. I hope you guys really enjoy this video and a huge thank you to our sponsor helping me bring this video to you today And that is Clinique. By the way, there is a uh, big paw coming out of my shoulder That would be Mr. Gallup taking a giant nap on my bed. Typical. One thing that is key to your health is Hydration. I drink so much water every single day. I'm drinking water. So I'm not gonna show you all the water that I drink on a daily basis, but just know a reusable water bottle is pretty much always in hand. It's always going room to room with me. And once again, what you put in your body affects every part of your body. Being hydrated really positively affects your skin. If dry or dehydrated skin is something that you struggle with, then I wanna share this Clinique product with you. Dry skin isn't something that I've particularly struggled with, but dehydrated skin is. I live in Los Angeles, very deserty vibes out here. And so hydration for me, both internally and externally is huge. I'm always putting moisturizer on my body, my hands, my face. I'm always drinking water. I'm always trying to hydrate all parts of me. And this product has been really helpful. This is the Moisture Surge Intense 72 Hour Lipid Replenishing Hydrator and it locks in moisture all day for hydrated skin morning to night. They literally tested this on women in Siberia in the winter and thanks to Sika, it really, really helps to soothe irritated skin. It retails for $22 and keeps your skin hydrated for up to 72 hours even after you wash your face. I notice that it leaves my skin feeling really silky smooth without being greasy and makes me look very radiant and hydrated, which is exactly what I'm always looking for. I've been really liking using this as a evening cream before bed. I just love the way my skin feels when I wake up with it sitting on on my face overnight. But you could definitely use this as a day cream, especially if you're more on the dry skin type versus me, which is more just a dehydrated skin. You know, dry skin is like a skin type. It tends to be more rough, a little bit more flaky, whereas dehydrated skin just comes from having a lack of, of moisture, both internally from hydration as well as externally from your environment. So this is really good. Ooh, my skin's so silky. Feel Oh my gosh. I know. It's beautiful. No, I think you're going to really love this. You should yeah, try it. Yeah, I will. I'm going to try it for sure. It's beautiful. You look great. Thanks. Visit Ulta to find your perfect moisturizer match. All right, now. Let's get to eating. Before I get into showing you my first meal, I wanted to share a bit more about my kind of philosophy about eating. So I've been following the 80-20 rule for a very long time now, probably since I was about 14. I think our family started kind of eating like that as a, as a whole, just as a family. We removed gluten, dairy, processed sugars, things like that from our diet for the most part, or at least 80% of the time. And then the other 20%, I just let loose and I have fun and I let myself enjoy. So that's kind of how I 
structure my week of eating every week. You'll see that with my meals, there's a combination of food that either I or my boyfriend Adrian prepares for me that I get from a meal delivery service. I get eight meals delivered a week. So that's basically lunch and dinner for four days of the week, which I will sometimes eat the lunch and the dinner in one day, or I'll sometimes break them up over a couple of different days or food that I order in from a local restaurant. So that's kind of how I break up the food that I eat. And so I, yes, try to eat lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, lots of protein, but I also let myself enjoy. And if I have a craving for something that's quote unhealthy, I just eat it and I live my best life. That's kind of what you'll see in the way that I eat. And that's what I mean by health being mind, body, spirit, right? I need to fuel my body with healthy foods, but I also just need to like let my soul be happy and enjoy. So yeah, that is my philosophy on how I choose to eat. So let's get into it. Breakfast day one, we have an oat milk latte with nitro cold brew, and we have yogurt with mixed berries, which is blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries, and a mixed seed packet on top. Delicious. The yogurt with mixed berries is definitely a common breakfast for me. My favorite type of yogurt is goat's yogurt because cow's dairy, I don't like to have too much of, note the oat milk in the nitro cold brew, but I do switch out my source of caffeine. As you can see, I've already started munching on my sandwich. I order in about, I would say once to twice a week during COVID, just because it's kind of like the only bit of fun and excitement I have is like trying new foods or getting my favorite foods in. So last night I ordered from one of my favorite local places that makes a lot of organic sandwiches and salads. And as you can see, like that's just part of one half. So it's really big. So I saved the second half for my lunch today. Sorry, that is my dishwasher, by the way. My apologies. At least you know I keep my dishes clean. So it has like chicken, prosciutto, tomato, honeyed almonds. And yeah, so that's what I'm eating for lunch. And then in the glass there, I just have a sparkling strawberry beverage. It's 10 calories and all that's in it, like the entirety of the ingredients list is carbonated water, strawberry puree, and lime juice. That is it. So really good alternative to pop. If you just like something fizzy, there's not like a ton of sugar loaded into it so really really love that and they have tons of different flavors if you do like to order in from food delivery apps during quarantine i personally like to order in from local restaurants because i like to support local especially during a time like this and we have dinner this is one of the meals plate, that vegetable. I oh did it just tell me it was a plate with vegetables good job voiceover wow. speech off Okay, this is one of my meals from my meal delivery service. So as you can see, there's some meat, a little bit of potato, and tons of green beans. I feel like this is a very well-balanced meal. Lots of vegetables, good amount of protein, not very much carb. So delicious, tasty, and healthy, well-balanced meal. And for breakfast today, once again, we've got goat's yogurt with mixed berries and seeds on top, but we're switching up our caffeine source today. We've got matcha. This is a matcha bar, which has ginger, apple, and matcha, and it's delicious. It's perfect. It's the equivalent of one espresso shot. Delightful. All right, so I'm having a little snack break right now. I'm having gluten-free everything crackers with a little bit of cheese. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of cheese it is. I just really like white spreadable cheeses that aren't just typical cream cheese. It's definitely like a sharper cheese. Do you know what kind of cheese it is, Adrian? It almost feels goaty to me. It, it's probably goat. I Lord knows goat. I love goat everything. Yeah. It's probably goat, but it's delicious. So this is my snack and I'm having this snack because every single week I go live on my Patreon and we do a theme. So like last week was chocolate. So everybody had to come to the live with something chocolate the week before. We did tea the week before that. We did something bubbly. And so this week's theme was for Gallup and it was cheese themed. So everybody had to come to the Patreon live with cheese. And I'm literally live right now. They're literally watching me film this as, as I film. Gallup is standing for his right cheese. here waiting for his cheese as a part of the live stream. We will give you cheese very shortly. So that is my snack. I'm gonna go back to hanging out live with my peeps over on Patreon and give Gallup his little bit of cheese too. This is my lunch for day two. It is a honey chicken stir fry from my meal delivery service. I talked a little bit more about my meal delivery service in the 
video right here, my weight loss journey video. So they deliver me food, lunch, dinner, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They deliver daily, the food is pre-made, so all I have to do is heat it up, or if it's a salad, toss the salad. So it's super easy and convenient for me, and they make it really healthy, well-balanced, delicious, tasty food. And so I just kind of spread it out throughout the week as I want to. So yes, this is my lunch today. This specific meal is one of my favorites that they do. Yum, 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 yum. And we have dinner. So this salad is from my food service and Adrian and I are just splitting it. And then with it, we're having tofu with just marinated in a sauce that Adrian did. The sauce is from Trader Joe's. It's delicious, so yummy. This has been one of my new favorite things is this tofu with fried up with this sauce. And then yeah, a salad. I prefer to have like my heavy meals in the middle of the day. So even though my food service, little lavender shaking her, shaking her bell around, even though my food service lists the salads for my lunch and the, the meal that I had earlier as dinner, I like to flip it so I have the heavier meal in the middle of the day and then my lighter meal for dinner. Okay, and it is dessert time. We rarely have sweets in this house. We don't treat ourselves with dessert very often, but it is a Saturday night and we're going to treat ourselves. And I think it's important to treat yourself. When you don't let yourself have, quote, junk food or sugar too often, you get to really, really enjoy it when you do. So this is a hard toffee rolled in dark chocolate then rolled in nuts. And it's delightful and we each get two pieces. Yum, yum, yum. Here is breakfast day three. Nobody's surprised I'm having goat's yogurt with berries and seeds. Delicious. And caffeine, we're switching it up once again. I'm having uh, matcha again, but it's a different one. This one is a matcha with lemon. So it's matcha lemonade. And the one yesterday was 70 calories and this one is 60. So pretty good and super delicious. Day three lunch, and I'm having this delicious salad. I don't know how appetizing it looks, but it is definitely very tasty, and it's just from a, a salad pack at Trader Joe's. So super easy, convenient, and healthy. And after my salad, I'm just having a little bit of a seaweed snack because I'm still a little hungry. Dinner is a cheeseburger. Here's the thing, you guys. As I said, to me, trying to maintain mental, emotional, and physical health during quarantine includes treating yourself and doing things that bring you joy. And cheeseburgers bring me joy. And so I have no guilt when I treat myself with things like this because I try my best to eat healthy, to do yoga, and to do things that make me as healthy as I can be, and then I just enjoy guilt-free when I want to. And so we don't do this very often, but am I allowed to tell them? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Adrian got an amazing new job. We're oh, if you're talking about the burger. Oh. <laughs> I you were am I allowed to tell them about your burger. job? Go for it, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Adrian got an amazing new job, and um, we're celebrating, because tomorrow he starts, and it's his last dinner. Yeah, the last supper. The last supper before the new job begins. And so we decided I, I would order in for him as a treat to celebrate. Mm, thank you. Because he's so wonderful. And um, we were going to do sushi and then we opened Postmates and a cheeseburger joint popped up and we were like, well, that sounds great. <laughs> and Adrian was healthy, truly healthy, and got a lettuce wrap burger. He's yeah. better than I am. But I feel zero guilt about my bun. I want the bun. I'm eating the bun. Okay, that's all. Another day, another bowl of yogurt with mixed seeds and mixed berries. I keep forgetting to show you guys my cute bowls. How do I do this? Um, I think you guys can see it. It's a little fox. The other day I used my raccoon one for the tofu. And I have a lot of cute dishware and I keep forgetting to show you guys. I just keep showing you the food inside. And then I have a coffee. It is just a soy, extra hot, tall, no foam, chai tea latte with a shot of espresso. I don't usually get that. I usually just get a plain latte, but I need extra caffeine today, and this is my I need extra caffeine drink. So 
totally delicious. If you find chai tea lattes too sweet and you don't mind extra caffeine, this is a good option, but obviously it's higher calorie than just having a latte. So for me, it's definitely a treat and I usually just go for a standard latte. So if calories is something that you think about, then that's something to keep in mind. If calories isn't something you think about, then you don't have to worry about it. But for me, calories has been kind of the way that I lost weight and have been maintaining my weight. If you're wondering about how I lost and maintained the weight, you can watch that video for more info, but I do use a calorie calculator and I just take note of how many calories overall I consume in a day. 1200 was kind of the amount that I was eating when I was losing weight and then 1500 calories is my goal now that I'm maintaining weight. So I try to eat 1500 calories a day. 1200 is what I would eat now that I'm maintaining on a less hungry day. And then when I was losing weight, I would go up to 15, 1200 would be my kind of daily usual and then 1100 or 1000 a day would be like if I was having a really low hunger day. Each meal that I get from my meal delivery service is 300 calories for reference and they just really manage to balance like incredibly filling foods that are really healthy for you. So it's amazing and I love it. But yeah, that's kind of the goal for me. I'm four foot ten and a half and I have a very low physical activity level. Midway through eating my breakfast at my vanity, but I just wanted to say, as you saw last night, like I ate a cheeseburger. I'm not super rigid with my calories. If I went up to 2000 calories in a day, as long as that's not my everyday, I'm fine with it. I like to enjoy life and eat food and have fun. And I just like to be conscious of what I eat. So also you'll notice that every day is the same breakfast and that is because I don't really like breakfast foods. If I eat too many eggs or eat them too often, they make my stomach sick, kind of like cow's dairy for me. And I'm not like a huge fan of heavy things for breakfast, like bacon, sausage, potatoes, like that full kind of traditional breakfast. So I prefer to eat things like this. Um, and if I switch it up, I'll have a fruit smoothie, a fruit and vegetable smoothie, or I'll do something like a light avocado toast. Just something really fresh. I also like acai bowls, things that are really fresh and light that make me feel energized. Whereas I personally feel if I have something like bacon and sausage, it makes me feel heavy in the morning. Personal preference. And we've got lunch. I'm having a salad from my food delivery service and a piece of toast with butter. It is sourdough, which is my favorite type of bread. Unless I'm in Toronto, then it's thin sliced chia seed bread from Cobb's Bakery. If you know, you know, it's delicious. I'm also having another one of those strawberry drinks that I showed you guys earlier in the week. Delightful. Ah, uh, my favorite day of the week, taco day. We do this like once a week. Adrian makes turkey tacos and they're my favorite. You guys probably saw him make them in our Day in the Life of a Blind Couple vlog and they're delicious. I love them so much and I'm very excited to eat both of them. Nom, 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 nom. You guessed it, we're having yogurt, but we're switching it up. It's goat yogurt with just the mixed seeds and dried fruits and not the fresh fruits. Ooh, ooh, change. I promise I'll have a different breakfast tomorrow, but this is today. Also, for anybody who's also sensitive to cow's dairy and wants to try goat's yogurt as an alternative, just know it is very, very hard to find a good one that isn't too goaty, but this one's delicious. It's super light and yummy, and I get it at Trader Joe's. And then here, oh, what's this? My new merch, this came out with the Lavender Collection and it says take naps on one side and on the other side it has Gallop and it says life's too short. Also, that's my cat. And in here, okay, some people are gonna think this is gross, but what I've been doing since the beginning of quarantine to limit how much I go out, whenever I would go get a coffee out, I would get a venti. Oh, you want attention? I'll give you attention in three minutes. I would get a venti and then I would drink whatever amount I wanted and I would keep the rest in the fridge for the next day and the next day I would get like three days of coffee out of a venti and it was cheaper overall instead of getting like three talls three days in a row and it was also limited how much I had to go out so that's kind of what I started doing and even though I only got a tall yesterday I don't even often drink a full tall to be honest so I drank about two-thirds of it or a little over one half so I just put the other half in the fridge and I put the put it in the mug and I heat it up. And honestly, like it tastes the exact same. You save money and you limit how much you go out. So some might think it's gross, but I think it's a life hack and I feel fine about it. <laughs> it 
is time for lunch. I am really hungry since I had a light breakfast. So now I'm having my meal service. And I am, like I said earlier in this video, sometimes I like to have the what they put as dinner for lunch. So that's what I'm doing today. This is one of their dinners, but I am eating it for lunch. There's meat, there's lots of veggies, lots of flavor. Mm, it smells delicious and I'm really looking forward to it. This will fill me for the whole day. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of a snack here. I have a blackberry fizzy drink, which is very similar to the strawberry one. So it is 10 calories and in it, it just has carbonated water, blackberry puree, blackberry juice, strawberry juice, and lemon. And then I'm having a little piece of a granola bark, which is like a chocolate drizzle with granola and pumpkin seeds. It's like a pumpkin spice situation. Fall vibes are coming to an end, so I'm enjoying my last little piece. Dinner, we have some pistachio nuts for extra protein because that's definitely what'll fill me. But also the salad's huge, so the salad's gonna be very filling as well. So a delicious salad, lots of veggies, protein, nom 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 nom. I told you I was gonna change things up this morning. We have got a nice green smoothie. This is a vegan smoothie and has lots of yummy things in it and it's a nice big size. So this will be a delicious breakfast. I'm very excited. And to keep the green theme going, I'm going to have some more matcha today. So after I'm finished this, my caffeine for today will be one of the matcha bars. I'm not sure if we have lemonade matcha left or ginger apple matcha left, but whatever's in the fridge is what I will be drinking. And by the way, just a pro green smoothie tip. If you're not super into the taste of vegetables, then just make sure to get one that has a lot of sweet fruits. Fruits like mango or pineapple are really great to cut through the greeny taste. But but if you are super into green stuff, but you need something to cut it still, you can get one that has lots of vegetables and just make sure it has things like ginger and lemon to help balance that veggie taste out a little bit more without having all the sweet sugars from the fruit. Okay, so this is my lunch. I'm sorry if you can hear like uh, some voices in the background. You know, we all work from home now, so Adrian is in the office and he's in a meeting at work. So if you can hear voices, that's him. By the way, I don't usually order my smoothies in. I usually, we usually make them at home. Adrian makes them for me like you saw in the 24 hours or day in the life of blind couple video, but I wanted to give him like time to just adjust to work this week in his new job. So I just ordered a smoothie in instead of having him make it for me. And I'm not very good at making them because our blender is broken. So when I do it, things spray everywhere, but he's strong so he can like cover the top. So we need a new top for the blender and then I'll be able to make them on my own. But for right now it's broken. So I just ordered one in and I'll probably do the same tomorrow. And for lunch, this is from my food delivery service. I have a ginger sweet potato soup and a side salad. I'm very excited. I'm also just gonna have this sourdough cracker with some butter on the side as well, just to add a little more bulk to the salad and soup. Oh, <laughs> voiceover, shush. They're very similar to Rivita, which we also buy. They were just out of Rivita, so we got the sourdough ones because we really like sourdough. It's just rye versus sourdough, basically. Pretty much the same thing. There's no GMOs, no additives, and you can literally read everything on the label, which I love, as you've probably been able to tell from a lot of the things, especially the things that I drink. I like being able to know everything that's in it, so that's nice. Okay, and we have dinner. I was gonna do my food service tonight, but I decided to save it for another meal later in the week and have this, which is a bowl of salad, superfood salad, turkey, and two jalapeno poppers. Nom, nom, nom. We like never get things like this, but we call my guide dog Gallop Jalapeno. And so then yesterday, Adrian was like jalapeno popper. And I was like, <gasps> I've literally had jalapeno poppers like maybe twice in my life and I haven't had them for like 10 years and I couldn't get them out of my mind. That and pigs in a blanket. Mmm, pigs in a blanket. So, we spoiled ourselves and we got jalapeno poppers. That's what life's all about for me. It is the final day of my food, so I decided to, well, use this video as an excuse for me to get avocado toast. <laughs> because avocado toast, like I guys, like I guys told you, Good one, Molly. Like I told you guys, is one of my favorite breakfasts. So I was like, you know what? I should just show them what a great avocado toast looks like. <laughs> so I ordered some. And for both of these pieces of avocado toast and this big side salad, it was $8, which 
I'm pretty happy about. I feel like a lot of places, especially here in Los Angeles, charge a hell of a lot more for that. And this place is really, they use a lot of like organic, it's all in organic ingredients, locally sourced. So I'm really stoked. This is a huge breakfast for me. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for lunch because this is a lot of food. This is gonna keep me full for a long time. You can probably hear my cat playing in the background. Sorry about that. Miss Lavender, Lavender, babe, babe, I'm trying to film. So this is my lunch. I'm actually, <laughs> excuse me. She just ran into the table, I think. So this is my lunch. This is the salad that came with my breakfast, but it's a really big salad and the two pieces of toast has kept me plenty full. So I just saved this for lunch and with that order, I had ordered a smoothie that I was gonna have tomorrow morning for breakfast. So I was just gonna like tuck it in the fridge so I don't have to pay for delivery twice. And I already started drinking it. I just figured I'd just do this for lunch because I don't know what else I wanna have because my meal service is so filling and I'm just not hungry enough for that. But this, you guys, is so incredible. It is acting as my caffeine today because it's a shot of espresso, maca powder, a frozen banana, and coconut milk. And then I added peanut butter for extra protein and flavor. And it's so yummy. So this is my delicious lunch. And we have the final meal. Earlier I snacked on some pistachios, delicious. And now I am having a bowl of ramen. This is from my food delivery service and this is like their healthy take on a ramen. So it's not gonna taste like ramen that you would get at a restaurant, but I still think it's really tasty. It's definitely one of my faves. And like I said in the intro of this video, I didn't show you like all my water consumption cause that's kind of boring and I drink a lot of water. But obviously throughout all of these days I've been drinking tons of water. I hope you guys had fun eating with me for a week. Comment down below, let me know what meal got your taste buds craving something. What was like, ooh, I need to try that for my next meal. I wanna know like what your food inspo was. Also comment what a go-to meal for you has been during quarantine. I'm curious to see what you've been munching on. Thank you once again to Clinique for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I definitely enjoyed sharing it with you and I'll see you next time. For more Molly, click up here for this video or over here for this one.